What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chief from the Brand Bible, and today I'm here to show you guys basically how to make a mock up. How to make a mock up and also where to find basically the best free mock ups on the internet in just one spot. Instead of just Googling, um, every time you have a new design, you want to put on a sweater or a t shirt, instead of Googling um, the best t shirt mock up, I'm going to show you guys where everything is consolidated into one website. So it's just the one stop shop to go to get any type of mock up. So anyways, man, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to start doing, um, if not weekly posts, so I can start showing you guys how I was before, how to design, how to just do everything clothing-wise from designing, shipping, creating websites, getting domains for cheaper, just everything. I'm trying to show you guys how to basically cut costs in every corner of making, uh, starting a clothing brand. All right. So first off, before we even start anything, I'm going to show you guys what a mock-up is or tell you guys what a mock-up is and the definition of it. So, right here, a lot of people, like, they'll hit me on the brand Bible. If it's not the brand Bible, they'll hit me on just my regular personal Instagram and they're, they're asking for, they want, they want me to make a mock-up for them. A lot of people don't understand what a mock-up is, though. A mock-up, like it says right here, a mock-up is a high-fidelity render of your product's design and showcases how the finished product will look. Basically, mock-up is an artistic rendering of a design or product that showcases said product in action. Basically, a mock-up is your final product, but digital. So you don't have the sample yet. You don't have anything made yet. It's just the final product, but digital. So meaning you're putting your design that you got made or whatever you got made on a garment, a piece of garment, and you're showing it to people digitally. A mock-up is a good way for people who are starting brands to um, advertise their clothes and whatnot. So, um, how do I put it? Say, like, you can't get a sample made, like I said, but you have a design and you have the online garment. I mean, the digital garment. You just slap the mock-up on there and you can start advertising. You want to obviously make sure that you can make your physical garment the same as mock-ups. Because a lot of times, these clothing brands are putting up the best mock-up in the world, but when it comes to the physical piece, it's nothing like the mock-up. The print may be too small, the what's it called, um, you know, it might have drawstrings on the mock-up, but in the in the regular, what's it called, there was no drawstring. So, you know, you wanna, um, you wanna make sure it's the same thing as the mock-up. So next, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys where you wanna get your mock-ups, where you wanna get a mock-up for a hoodie, a t-shirt, a crop hoodie, sweatpants, even a water bottle. You feel me? Like this site right here has every mock-up you should ever need. So we're gonna go right here to the brandbible.us. So on this page right here are the the paid mock-ups. Like you have to pay for these mock-ups. So the um crop hoodies that I tell you, the the distress cock hoodie right here. You have a t-shirt mock-up with unlimited colors. You just pick the color. You get on the color wheel and you just click what color you want. You have vintage mock-up with preset PNGs. Vintage crew neck mock-ups with pre preset PNGs. So you just drag and drop. You have 3D mock-ups. 3D mock-ups. You have pullover mock-ups and it comes with the manufacturer. This The pack comes with the manufacturer. So you can use the exact manufacturer that made that, that, made that hoodie vector packs and whatnot, textile packs. This the site has everything a designer or clothing brand owner should need to start their brand. This video will be using the crop hoodie mock-up. This pack and we'll use be using the free pack the free mock-ups, the sweatpants to make um to make these mock-ups that I'm about to uh I'm about to give you guys. These here are examples of mock-ups. So as you can see this is the design I made. I was able to put on this t-shirt this as well these are example of mock-ups and this is a mock-up that we're gonna make today so I'm gonna show you guys how I made those well not those mock-ups but this mock-ups right here and the sweatpants so like I said um just gonna for this mock-up the crop hoodie mock-up you're gonna have to buy it. it's $20 on the brand Bible it's very inexpensive very inexpensive because at the end of the day you're, getting, you're paying twenty dollars for something that you're going to be using for the whole like your whole the whole life of your business. So very inexpensive if you think about it, twenty dollars. So um, yeah, we'll be using the crop hoodie mock-up, 
like I said, um, right here, let me bring it back up. We'll be using the sweatpants. I don't understand why there's no black here. No worries, we're about to add the black right now. Now there is, I just modified it. So anyways, um, yeah, so we're gonna use this black. So the inst like I said, these these are very easy to use. All you have to do is click it, boom. Uh, click it right here and download. Once you click and download, it's on the bottom. You just, any, what's it called? You just drag and drop it into your, um, to your Photoshop just like that. It's that easy. All right, I already have it here, so I'm just gonna put it right here. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you can really see right there. Let me bring it down so it's right above each on each other. I like to actually before we even start showing you, I have these two artboards here because I like to work on each mock-up in its own little artboard. It's like I like to um I say like organize my work. I didn't know a lot of people didn't know this, but to have artboards like this, all you have to do is press file new. And then you want to use whatever um dimension you use but um you want to click artboard right here you want to check this box press create and then to get new artboards you just click that artboard right there press the plus or you can um go right here press v for the artboard and it'll come up with the plus you just click it click it click it as you can see right here when you zoom out you have multiple boxes so you can basically organize your work better you don't want to be clustered you don't want to work in with just one box. Anyways, that's just a little tip that I know. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so um, before I even start this uh, mock-up, um, I want to show you guys another little thing when it comes to um, doing mock-ups. So um, as you can see, this black is a little darker than this black. So I want to, basically I want to keep the same consistency of the uh, blacks. So I'm gonna go to this black right here. I'm gonna go to the uh, what is it? I guess I would say the brightness contrast. And usually I don't know which one to go to. I just always you know mess around with it. So we're gonna see and right here you see contrast usually work. Make it a little darker. And now if you guys can see if you go like this, it's like more light. Put it in. It's more dark. So like now it kind of blends each other. It makes it makes sense. It's the same garment. Remember what I said earlier in the video, you want to basically like make sure the mock-up is just like, is just like um, the physical garment. So, um, yeah, so that's good. Let's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to shift, shift click. And I'm going to merge the layers. I'm going to, uh, rename this. I like to um, name my stuff just so I don't, oh, I always use cap, all caps of black sweatpants. I mean, we know it's black sweatpants, but it's just, you know, I just like to be organized. But anyways, now since I have my uh, mock-ups ready, my garments ready, I want to, um, I'm going to open up my where my design is. So I'm going to bring it in. This is the design. Then I'm going to use this one of the designs. And then the other design is this for the side logo. You guys can see because this is, what's it called? Well, let me just put it black background or actually it doesn't matter what color so you guys can see this is the design the side design that i'll be using so right here as you guys can see i'm black garment but i want to make the word white and i want to take away the background so um uh i don't you know there's a lot of ways to take away the background in um in photoshop but being that this is uh just the solid white background it's really nothing too hard to do you want to go oh you want to go ahead and hit to the eraser click magic eraser you want to make sure you're on the uh the same artboard click it it's going to ask to oh my fault you're gonna have to um rasterize your layer first on uh, apple products when you click it it'll ask you to do the windows you have to do before and then make sure the tolerance is right 50 should be good since it's all white all right so it took off the uh black i mean it took off the white background but if you zoom in, you can still see in the little holes that they have some white. So you just want to click that. You just want to make sure everything is gone right there in all the holes. And now you have it right there. You have a transparent background. So now I want to change this, the um, design itself to white. So I'm going to go to blending options, 
you know, the design is not a text layer after, you know, edit it. Oh, so it's a blending option. I'm going to go to color. I'm going to change it to any color I want. I want it white. So here you go. It's white. It's that easy. Now this front piece of the design that I'm going to be using is done. All right, so we're done with that, like I said. So we're gonna go over here to this one. Oh, well, actually, this one's actually done. We're gonna keep it wet, so um, we don't really have to do anything with this one. <clears throat> All right, so um, now I can, what I usually like to do is leave this here, this design here, because um, later on, I'll do another video how to make a tech pack for a manufacturer. So the manufacturer has everything in one file. So it's, they make everything like as exactly how you like it, basically. So usually I like to leave this here, have its own, uh, leave it in its own artboard. So I'm going to leave it right there. I'm just going to control C or command C on Apple, command V, control C to drop it here. I'm just going to uh, resize it. Let's zoom in. So let me make sure everything is uh, centered here. I'm gonna zoom in. There you go, right there. So now it's right there on the chest, exactly how I want it. I'm gonna go and do the same with this because I'm putting the, uh, this design on the arms, on the sleeves. So I'm gonna Control C, Command C again. Click on this layer. I mean, the, on this artboard, Control V, Command V, it's just like like any other thing on the computer. So this is um, <clears throat> there's multiple ways to do this. So I'm gonna make it like the like I said, this uh, sleeve design. I'm gonna put it a little smaller. Zoom in. You, I just want to make it everything precise, right there. And this is perfect to me right here. Right here is perfect. So um. As you guys can see, well, you can't really see because it's transparent background. Let me put a, let me put a white background. Well, actually not white, but I'll put a colored background so you guys can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> this half of the design, I don't want it here. Now, what I can do is I can use the eraser tool. Uh, let me see on my caps. I can use the eraser tool, bring it down and zoom in. But I can show you guys a better way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the side logo right here. I'm going to alt click. You see, once you press alt, you have the arrow down. And this is basically how I want to say merging the layer with the layer beneath it. If that makes sense. So now you guys can see if I alt click and click it, I cancel it. It comes back. Alt click right there. So now it's on the side, just like that, exactly how I want it. So I'm showing a visual, a, a digital representation of how I want the front to look. This is how I would want the front to look if it's laying on the ground. Now we're gonna go. To, we're gonna um, I don't know, go over here or press B. I'm gonna um, get the oh whoops. I'm gonna get the side logo again. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm tripping. I'm gonna just get this one. To keep the same, the same, uh, the same color. I've said the same for the same size and everything. I'm gonna just drag it all the way. Let me zoom out. Drag it all the way over here. I'm gonna Control T to free transform. Oh, whoops! I'm gonna undo all of that because I grabbed the wrong one. Whoops. Control T to free transform. I'm gonna drag this all the way over here. I'm gonna um, turn it like I did it before. Let's just zoom in right there so I can see everything. All right, let's press. This should be good. Let's just see how it looks. Maybe I might have to bring it up just a tad bit. Actually. Yeah, I might have to bring it up just a tad bit, not too much. I wasn't that far off. I like where it's placed. I just need to bring it up. Yeah, like that. Let me see. All right, yeah. Looks good. So let's um, alt click again. And boom, right there. So I have the front markup right here. This is how this is how I want the front of the shirt to look, just like this. 
I said the shirt though. Front of the hoodie to look just like this. And I was saying again, it's just all quick. I'm concluding it. Cancel. As you can see, you'll see the other half of the design, but I want to hide it behind it. So all quick. All quick right there. I can all quick this too, and I'll show you guys how it works as well. If I all quick this, you'll see that it'll never leave from the hoodie. You see? This is how you can also do all over designs, which I will show you uh in a later video. So you can basically keep it within the bounds of the hoodie. So it's just just undo that. Control Z will be to undo. I'll be showing you guys shortcuts as well to help you um, design faster. All right. So um, let me put a background on this as well. Perfect. All right, right here. All right. Um, I'm only doing this to show you guys the um effect. The effect. So um, now we want to do the same thing here. So for this, the sweatpants. Like you guys saw in the, uh, earlier, I'm going to have the side designs on the side right here. And I'm going to have another design right here that I wanted to um, basically connect with these. Uh, I don't know what you would call them, but, you know, connect with them. I'm going to like control C again. And you go right here, control V. Kind of do this. Let's see. I want to make it big, but not too big. Pause. I'm gonna um. Let's zoom in. Once you zoom, uh, I forgot to tell you guys. When you zoom out and you see how it's moving, it's like it's like it's like magnetic in a way. But once you zoom in, it moves so freely. But you always want to zoom in to just get the best like, just get the best placement possible. All right, let's see this. Yeah, this looks pretty good. So we're gonna just go like that. You're going to alt click it again. Perfect. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, control C this control, control C, control V. I'm just going to do the same thing again, curving it. All right. That should be good. Let's all click it. And like I said, I'll like, um, you guys might see some, it might be a little imperfect, but I mean, none of this is actually ever perfect, but I'm trying my best to do it. It's for the video's sake. I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but this looks pretty good. So I'm just going to leave this as that. I have one more design. I have to go get this last design. So I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to just make an artboard for this. Another one, just drag and drop it so you can have your own thing. So this is the last design. We're going to do the same thing. Control C. Right here, control V. All right, all right, let's put it on top. Let's zoom in. This is the last one. Let's size it correctly. Make it a little bigger. I, I think I put it like this. I think it was something like this. Yeah, I think it was something like this. Yeah. So, there you go right there. So, this is the top, and then this is the bottom. And just so um, you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys can get a visual represent representation of it, like, on body. I'm going to go to my um, Instagram. And this is relatively how it would look. Oh, actually, let's go back to it. Oh, I didn't put it right there. I put it on the bottom. Well, I mean... Either way, let's just so it's like stuff like this. Oops, it was something like this basically. Let's put this down to up just a little. There we go. You guys see those purple lines as well? Those actually can help you make sure you get it right. Yeah. Right there. All right, bet. All right. So this is the uh, this is the sweatsuit that I made, and this is the um, this is how it looks in real life. Let's go. As you can see, this is on the side. But I'm very anal about stuff like this. I don't know if you guys can see but right here. As you can see, the um, this side design meets the T at the bottom. As you can see right here, the side design meets the T at the bottom right there. 
so like I said you ch you just want to make it as like as precise as possible so like when you send it to the manufacturer they make exactly how it is and as you guys can see it's basically how it is I just told them to add a pocket here the um, mock-up that I had does not have a pocket but I wanted a pocket um also I'll be showing you guys I'm gonna be making a different video about going in depth with the brand Bible because there's just so much more in the brand Bible than just mock-ups a lot of people I see they uh when they're making TikToks they're making videos they're just here for the uh they're here for the mock-up when I made this a year ago I made no videos about it I just put it on the internet made well actually I made a TikTok about it put it on the internet and it went up and a lot of people started using it and liked it but ever since like from the one year ago like this I've changed the site completely from just mock-ups to stuff that designers could um use but I'll, like I said I'll be making another video to go in depth of the brand Bible will show exactly everything that's on the brand Bible so people can basically use it like 100% like I feel like a lot of people are only using like 10 or 20% of the content that I put on the brand Bible there's a lot more on the brand Bible this is just you know just for fun I'm gonna get it I have accessory P uh, PSD so I'm gonna download oh, yeah download that and you download you just open it this is you have the water bottles you have a basketball you have face masks medical gloves boxing gloves like a lighter like a hair up in a coffee I'm gonna make another artboard right here or I'll put it like right here in the middle I'm gonna like there resize it that's control T and then I'm gonna copy and paste this control C control V then control, control T it to resize it I'm gonna put it like right here in the middle I'm gonna take off the effects so it's black now and the thing is I'm gonna do this so you guys can um so it looks more realistic I'm gonna go like this because I want it to I want it to get a feeling like the design is going around the whole um lighter so I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna alt click it and now you see the the design is going to be going around the whole lighter but for a vodka purpose i wouldn't say this would be the best way to do it but you know it's just just add some realism to your uh, mockups to make it make it more effective like marketing wise but anyways that's it for this video um what do we go over we went over one what a mockup is so after this video i would hope people will stop like dming me and ask me to make mockups for them because I do still charge to make mockups, but I wanted people who have computers, who have laptops, who have Photoshop to learn how to use Photoshop and make their own mockups so they can, like I said, cut costs in different places of their business. People who don't have it, I mean, they can still hit me up to make a mockup. I charge like ten dollars to make a mockup. It's like you said, like I said, like you said, like you see, it's fairly easy, but it's still my time, so I'm still gonna charge you um but yeah like i said it's fairly easy you go to the brand bible brand bible has everything you need to make a mock-up everything is there so what do we go over here yeah, what are what a mock-up is how to create a mock-up where to find mock-ups and how to manipulate design so it makes the mock-up look, look realistic basically so like I said in the beginning of the video, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for um if you made it this far in the video, thank you for sticking with me. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna start trying to drop weekly videos to help you guys. Also, you guys can help me by you know getting me views. So alright, I'm out.